time now is 7:46, and it's still pretty cold out there, but definitely not as cold as yesterday morning. But right now the sun is coming up. Temps are warming up. This is a live view from La Paloma looking towards the Catalinas from our Skynet camera. Beautiful, beautiful start this morning. Lots of sunshine in the forecast for today, but again, it is a cold start. So bundle up before you head out, mainly in the 30s and uh, even some 20s still on the board. Places like Casas Adobes waking up to 28, a little warmer on the east side of Sabino Canyon at 39, 36 at the airport, and only 22 in Sonoida right now, 25 in Wilcox, 26 in Sasabe, and 25 in Sierra Vista. So layer up before you head out the door. And just a reminder that the freeze and hard freeze warning remains in effect until 9 a.m. this morning for eastern Pima County and central and western parts of Pima County under that freeze warning. Same thing for Pinal County in purple. So cold all across the board. Uh, definitely chilly out there, but high temps will rebound into the 50s and low 60s this afternoon, so a little bit warmer compared to yesterday. It is going to be a little bit breezy though with gusts around 35 miles per hour. So with the cool temps this afternoon, the wind is going to make it feel a little bit cooler out. So you'll probably want to have a jacket close by or at least on hand all day long. And then this weekend, the wind will kind of stick around into early Saturday morning before dying down. So Saturday is shaping up to be a nice day. And then on Sunday, temps will be even warmer in the upper 60s. Tons of sunshine through the weekend with a light breeze again Saturday morning. High temps today right around 60 for the airport, mid to low 50s for Corona Day Tucson and Vail. Cool and breezy with an east wind sustained around 15 to 25 miles per hour, gusting right around 35. And then tonight, temps will drop down into the low 30s, but depending on the wind, that might help keep us on the warmer side. Most of us uh, potentially staying above freezing because of the wind, so we'll keep you updated. But uh, to the south end east, mainly in the 50s today, still in the 40s though for Bisbee and Wilcox, and then tonight back in the teens and 20s for most of you. Today's wind gusts right around 32 miles per hour around 10 a.m. So it will start to pick up by quite a bit by late morning and into the afternoon. Gusts right around 35 miles per hour from 10 a.m. to about 6 p.m. before dropping a little bit by 10 p.m. tonight to 20 miles per hour. And then tomorrow the wind will stick around a little bit, especially in the morning before dying down after about 2 p.m. And then it will be much lighter as we head towards the mid to late afternoon tomorrow. So just staying a little bit breezy through the morning. And that's thanks to a system just passing by towards uh, the west of us, but as we head towards Monday, it's going to be pretty much the same setup. We have a system brushing back, uh, brushing past us, and that's going to bring the wind uh, again on Monday, and it's also going to cool us off a little bit back into the mid 60s after warming into the upper 60s this weekend. The good news is the wind dies down and the temperatures warm up, especially as we head towards mid to late next week. Temps in the low 70s can be expected, so it's going to get a little bit warmer with time. Just hang tight, but today definitely the coolest of the next seven. Overnight tonight, dropping down to 33, warming up to 67 on Saturday, back in the mid 30s on Sunday morning. A little bit of a cool down on Monday. The wind returns and then low 70s expected as early as Tuesday. Overnight lows also a little bit on the warmer side in the low 40s. That's a check of weather. Now let's go ahead and take a look at traffic this morning. And there's just this one accident that you need to know.